Well, the weather forecaster has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Iceland up against Portugal. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. This is the starting 11 for Iceland. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio begins in goal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And they kick off here. Joao Cancelo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Joao Felix. And teammates to play it to. Still not clear. Felix. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Ronaldo. Superb stop. Playing it short. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, we love to watch Bernardo Silva whenever oh, we get Oh, they're in the here, Derek. Guerrero. Bruno Fernandes has it. And return to Joao Felix. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Lovely ball over the top. The end product just wasn't there. Joao Felix. Bruno Fernandes. Portugal looking dangerous. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Who can they pick out? Well, that was quality. Last ditch defending. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick.
And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. And taking it away. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Useful looking ball. Joao Cancelo. Can he give them the advantage? Oh, yes! 1-0 it is! And it doesn't come as a huge surprise! Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Sigurdsson. He's given it straight to the opposition. Counter-attacking very much an option. Joao Cancelo. Joao Felix. Well, that was easy on the eye, and he didn't miss by much. Well, that's how to counter-attack. They did it with such pace, just couldn't finish it off. Joao Felix and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall that little bit of a cushion now it's all about keeping the concentration Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Hurdur Magnusson. Delightful pass. Well, even marginally offside is still against the law. Yeah, and he just needed to hold his run for a fraction longer, and he would have been in on goal. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and I think it's fair to say they're enjoying this away day. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Yes, it's been a really energetic display from them so far. The passing's been sharp, the movement from the front players has been excellent, and the finishing has been clinical. They will certainly be happy going in at half-time. And simple for the keeper. That's very effective, good high pressing. Palinha. Fernandes. It's with Guerrero. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Bruno Fernandes. And players waiting at the far post. The first half here comes to an end. Well, there's a reason why we're highlighting Cristiano Ronaldo. He's been very creative out there, Stuart. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal. What a player he is. And so the match is underway. Ronaldo. Superb stop. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. 
And the keeper more than equal to the task. Well, that was quality. Last ditch defending. Genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Joao Cancelo. Can he give them the advantage? Oh, yes! 1 0 it is, and it doesn't come as a huge surprise. Joao Felix. Well, that was easy on the eye, and he didn't miss by much. Well, that's how to counter-attack. They did it with such pace. Just couldn't finish. Joao Felix. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping... Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Finn Bogason, and now passing it through. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? Over it comes. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Silva. Chances on. It has to be, surely. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So the action continues, and Portugal very much bossing the proceedings here. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Well, he's certainly been warned, Stuart. No more challenges like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again. Well, as expected, Portugal have had more of the ball so far, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. Well, let's see if they can win the ball back and create something else. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did.
and unable to keep the ball. Cancelo. And still an opportunity. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. Well, maybe a chance for them now to relieve the pressure by stringing a few passes together. It's gone in! And, well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So back underway at 3-1. Just 20 minutes remaining now. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose. But they dealt with the threat posed. Felix. Joao Felix. A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. And a short corner, let's see. Leal. Well, it must be. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And the flag raised. Offside it is. So on the cusp of the final whistle and the visitors very much in command, Stuart. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. The movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals. They... Now hold on, Stuart. They're in here. There it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now. Well, let's just take another look at this through ball by Ronaldo. He gets the timing absolutely right. And Bernardo Silva does the rest. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a great finish that is. It's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Finn Bogason. And he's in. And it's come off the keeper. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Five minutes left. Joao Cancelo. Guerrero. On to Ronaldo. He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, the cross was acceptable, but no one there to thump at home. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Goodmanson. Oh, good technique in terms of how he struck it. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them.
You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best at every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. Well, a top-level contribution from Joao Felix. He certainly dominated, and we do say that quite a lot. Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you most of all. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today. Joao Felix. And a goal to increase their advantage to two overall. That little bit of a cushion. Now it's all about keeping. Chances on. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, maybe a chance for them now to relieve the pressure by stringing a few passes together. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Liao, now able to... Must be! Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And the flag raised. Offside it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now.